Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make my diamond wrap. My diamond wrap is a two row repeat in which we're making diamond patterns, hence the name. This is a very large wrap so I can't really show it to you all easy in front of the camera. But on my blog there are photographs of this wrap if you want to see what it looks like in, um, when it's more spread out. The link to the pattern is also in the video description of this video. To make this wrap you need a ball of whorl. Now this is a woolly whorl but any whorl will, um, is good so choose a color that you like. So any whorl that you like from Scheepjes. And if you want to give it a winter feel, which is what I've done here, is also add a thread of mohair yarn. And I've used the Scheepjes mohair rhythm to make the sample and then choose a, um, a color that works with the world that you have. You see I've got a yellow and a purple and there are a lot of shades in the mohair so you, there is always a shade that works with the world that you have. But if you want a summer version use just the world and if you want a winter version add the mohair thread to really give it a warm and fuzzy and a really nice feel to it. So with the world you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and then I'll show you how to work the pattern, the two row repeat. For row one, I have a slip knot on my hook. I'm using a different yarn to show you the pattern than the whorl because I'm just going to show you a small part of the pattern. So I've got a slip knot on my hook, and to work the pattern, you're going to do 112 chain stitches. Now, I'm not going to do 112, I'm just going to do a few, so I'm just going to show you the, the rhythm of the pattern rather than working the entire pattern. But you need to do 112. 12 chain stitches to work the shawl. If you want to make your shawl wider, add multiples of 3 to the base chain. If you want to make it narrower, just subtract multiples of 3. The chain is going to give you the height of the, um, of the shawl, so from your neck down your back. The width is what we're going to be working with the rows. So if you want it wider, um, or should I say deeper is maybe a better word, add more chains. If you want to make it narrower, subtract chains and do that in multiples of three. So with the base is 112 chain stitches. So I'm just going to work a number of stitches and then when you've got the base chain and keep count of those chains because it's very easy to lose count. When you've got 112 then I'll just see you for the first part of the row. I have 22 stitches here. That's a multiple that will work for the pattern but and you will have 112 chain stitches. So for the first row, this is just to make your base and then rows 2 and 3 form the pattern repeat. We're going to work a treble, two together in two loops. In the seventh stitch from the hook and the seven, eight, nine, and tenth stitch from the hook. Okay, so I'm just going to yarn over twice, that's for the treble, and now I'm going to count seven loops down, because that's where the first leg is going to go. So it's one, two, six, three, four, five, six, seven. This is loop number seven, chain number seven, so I'm just going to insert my hook in there and then pick up a loop, take off two, and pick up a loop, take off two. Stop. Again, yarn over twice. Going to skip two chain stitches and then go to the third chain and work the second half of the treble two together. So I'm going to skip one, two loops, then come to the third, in that stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over, take off two, yarn over, take off two loops. You now have three loops on your hook, I'm going to take them all off. What you've now worked, if you look here, you see here this 
chain 6, remember because we worked on the 7th stitch so you've got that chain 6. That chain 6 is actually a treble and a chain 2. So just to make it easy for you. That's a treble, so that's a chain 4 plus chain 2. To continue we're now going to work a chain 2 and then we're going to work a treble 2 together again. So chain 2 Two. and now we work a treble two together again where the first leg is going to be in the same stitches where we ended then we're going to skip two stitches and go to the next stitch again to work that second leg twice over in that same space we already got that, that leg insert again pick up your loop take off two take off two, twice over, skip one, two stitches, then come to the third, and pick up a loop, take off two, take off two, three loops on your hook, take them all off. And this you're going to repeat until you're to the end of the row, until you're here in that last stitch. I'll show you a few more times. Chain two, treble two together. So twice over in the same stitch. So two loops taking off, twice over, then skip one, two stitches in that third loop, pick up, take off two, take off two, three loops on your hook. Take them all off. Repeat again. Chain two. One, two. Twice over. And a treble in the first leg. Or the, the first leg of the treble in that same stitch. Second leg you're going to skip one, two stitches. And then in the third, work that second leg and take them all off. I believe, yes, I've only got one stitch left. You see I've got three loops left here and that's for the last stitch. Chain two, one, two, twice over. And in that same position as where your last stitch was. Over. Take off two, take off two, twice over again. Skipping two loops, two st chain st stitches, and then that very last one, which is the very first chain that you made, insert your hook and complete the treble two together. This is row one. Now that you've made row one, you also, of course, be much, much longer because I've only got, I only had 22 stitches here at the base. You're going to have 112 of those chains. So con continue until you're also at this point and then we're ready to start row 2 and rows 2 and 3 are the patterns, um, the pattern rows that we're going to be repeating. Row 2. Chain 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to use that to turn and that's also going to be the first leg of a treble two together because we're again going to be working trebles two together. So that's what we're going to be doing this entire pattern. Then the so this is the first part of the treble two together. The second part of the treble two together, we work on that stitch there. And that's going to be just a regular treble. So I'm going to twice over and go to this next stitch, which is the treble two together from the previous row, in there, complete a treble. And this turning treble two together looks slightly different, so always keep in mind it's chain three, and then uh, that's uh, that treble. Chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work a treble two together again, in the position where we finished and in the next stitch. 
So that's again where those two legs are going to be. Twice over for the treble. Then in the same space as where we just finished, work the first half of the treble. Twice over. And then come to the second half of the treble for that the next stitch for that second leg. Take off two, take off two. You have three loops on your hook, take them all off. And then you're going to repeat until you're until you're to the other side. Chain and then just the ending is a bit different. So chain two. And then again, the first half leg is in the stitch where you finished. Twice over, and the second half is in the next stitch. Three loops on your hook, take them all off. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to show you the end of row two. Let's chain two, twice over. That's where we finish the last one. Twice over. I just need a bit more yarn. And then the Next one is here in this in this last stitch here. You see now you've got that chain six turn there. So that last one is just before the turn. Three loops on your hook. Take them all off. So you're going to repeat that and these chain two and this treble two together. You're going to repeat that until you're to the chain six turn. Now when you've reached the chain six turn, you're going to do it last chain two here. And then work a last treble two together. And this time you're going to finish they were in, the first leg is going to be in that last stitch, and your second leg is going to be in the fourth chain of this chain six. Twice over, so in that last stitch there. over and you've got the chain six here and in that fourth chain so you see I've got one two chains that I'm skipping and then in that in the next one which will be the fourth chain so you can also count from the other side so you can also count from this side so you see that looks just maybe a little bit messy but uh, don't worry in the bigger scope of things and the entire shawl you won't even notice that it's a bit messy and now a very last stitch, chain two, and this is easy to forget. So remember this last chain two and work a treble in that same space, that same stitch where we just worked the treble two together in. And this one is easy to forget. So remember, remember this last treble. And three. Because if you because what you see happening already, even in the small pieces, you see this diagonal forming here. And that's what we want. This is diagonal goes this way. And if you forget this last treble, this diagonal isn't going to go this way, but you're actually going to turn your work to the right if you're if you're right-handed and to the left if you're left-handed. So this last treble here, this is very important. So, and if it might be easier for you, mark row two for example a stitch marker that you know okay when you come back this is after row three and you work a row two repeat again oh there should be that treble because you had that the previous row also so that might just be a way for you to remember which is row two and which is row three that you know row two is the one where I've got the stitch marker okay I need a, a treble there and then as you work each row two repeat you you move that stitch marker along with you so that can just be a way to distinguish rows two and three because they're very similar, it's just the ends that are different between rows two and three, and that's that difference is what makes this shawl diagonal, and um, and I really like this diagonal pattern. That's also what makes the color change very interesting with the whirl. So this was row two. I'm now going to show you row three, and then you've got everything you need to make this shawl. Row three. Very similar to row two, but only the 
um, the edge is different, the first and the last stitch. Going to work with a chain six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and turn. And, and this chain six is a treble and a chain two. So that so this chain six is exactly the same as this chain six here we had from row one. So we're also going to treat it in the same way when you come back for row four, which will be exactly the same as row two. So chain six and then a treble two together. Twice over. And that first leg of the treble is here in this very first loop. And that's important, that it's in that loop there, that very first stitch. Take off two, twice over, and the next leg is of course in the next stitch here. here. Three loops on your hook, take them all off. And what you've done, by making sure that it's in that first stitch there, is that you're again pushing the diagonal that way. If you take it here, you're going to bring the diagonal back in. So again, very important that you start row 3, this first treble 2 together in that first stitch there. So you've got this chain 6 and then that first one is in that first stitch. So it's chain 2 and then you repeat the treble 2 together in the current stitch and the leg in the next stitch. and take them all off. And you're going to repeat this until you're to the other side and I'll just show you the ending but in essence you're just going to finish with the treble two together so you don't have to work any last trebles or anything. I'm just going to a little faster because it's all exactly the same as we've done up till now. So you're going to be working a lot of trebles two together in this pattern. So if you want practice your trebles, this is a great pattern to do so. And it gives a very open meshed structure which I really like. And I also like the diagonal shape that the shawl has. So here's the last one already. And then you see here is the is the end. You see this is the um uh well that's that's the chain three and that's that first treble. So in that stitch you're going to work the last leg so twice over so that you're going to work that just in that treble there. You see that was the chain three which was the turning of row two and then take them all off. And that finishes the row three repeat. So you can now see this diagonal forming here. And you're going to turn and work row 4 exactly the same way as row 2 and then work row 5 the same as row 3. So rows 2 and 3 you're going to keep repeating until you're to the end of the yarn. It's, it's as easy as that. So this is a, a great TV project. The only thing to keep in mind are these edges. On a row 2 repeat you start with a chain 3 and you end with that last treble and on a row 3 repeat you start with that chain 6 and you finished here with a treble 2 together. So mark for example row 2 with a stitch marker here and then move that stitch marker up every time you work a row 2 that you can just keep track of what's row 2 and what's row 3 because they're really easy to get mixed up when you're in the flow. So that's, the, that's, a, really, that's a tip I have for you just to keep track of what is row 2. And then continue repeating rows 2 and 3 until you're to the end of the yarn and then you'll have a beautiful and large wrap. And when it's finished, block it. That will just help to open up this diamond pattern. Because you can see if I just pull this open, you can see that diamond pattern just forming much better. Here, here's one of those diamond patterns. So just block your shawl. That will really help to open up your pattern. And then you're done. I hope you enjoy making this project. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you again for a new project.